Hey friends, Alan here with another Studio One quick tip. I've made close to 20 of these quick tips. You can watch a playlist of them by clicking here in the top corner or in the description below. Some of these tips are about techniques and tricks, some are about features people look for but can't find, but then some are about things that are right there in plain sight, but if you haven't seen them before, you just don't know you need them or want them. In my previous tip I was showing how to render arpeggios and one viewer was surprised by the colorful notes in my piano roll. Which reminded me that when I switched to Studio One I just didn't know you can change how your piano roll notes are colored. Obviously, if you don't know that some small feature exists, you won't go looking for it. So it took me viewing other people's videos to notice that some YouTubers had these colorful piano roll views and some had single color ones like I did, which I think is the default. Long story short, yes, you can change how the notes in your piano roll are colored and it's super easy to do and it's right there in the middle of the editor toolbar. Just click on the note color drop down and select pitch. And there you are. Your notes are now colored by pitch. Did you know this feature existed right from the get-go or did it take you a while to notice it? Please let me know in the comments below and be honest. I think this pitch color view is great when you are editing a single event. It gives you a good sense of which pitches are the same across your part from just glancing at it. On the other hand, when editing or even viewing parts on multiple tracks, it is much more convenient to have the notes colored by part. And there you have it. I hope you found this tip useful. If you did, please like and share it. And please subscribe to my channel to be notified about new videos. And with that, thank you for watching and see you next time.